Having pretzels and a sausage. sausage from Germany, and everyone's looking at us like we're weird. We have a layover in Germany, so we needed to stop. We keep seeing these pretzels everywhere, and I love pretzels. Lee loves pretzels, so we had to make a stop and, and try. Attic Street hurt, so he's sitting down, and we're gonna let him try some of this yummy goodness in Germany in Frankfurt because we only have an hour layover. Look at all these pretzels, donut pretzels and regular pretzels. Yummy! It looks so delicious with the lemon curry and granola. Mm. So we just arrived at our Airbnb in Krakow and I'm here with Julia, her boyfriend Attic, and the lovely Lucy. <laughs> Lucy's Attic's mom. So we're here exploring. Hello. Hello. So we're just gonna make the most of today. Even though we're exhausted, we just got off the plane and we had a layover in Germany, which was actually really cute. Hopefully it doesn't rain. As you can see over there, this is called Malerianek. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's That's a little name. bazaar or little town. So this is the small town before we get into the main old town. And it's so cute around here. It's beautiful, it's, it's characteristic. Oh, and I just have to say that this coat, I literally got today at a secondhand shop because- What's that secondhand shop's called? Pani Armani. Pani Armani. <laughs> <laughs> so I got this coat because it was the only one that that seemed to fit me and it was super warm and comfortable and it's freezing here. I did not bring a coat from Canada so we did not pack very smart. <laughs> We've arrived and it's really nice here. It's it was so supposed cute. to be raining but it's not. It's a bit chilly it's but bit chilly, yeah. in the next couple days it will warm up a bit so we're really happy about that and we're just enjoying the beautiful old town of Krakow yes. and it's gorgeous. We're really jet lagged right it's now so and nice. tired but we're making the best of today. Yes we are. I'm just so excited to be here and we're eventually going to eat some good Polish food. <laughs> Woo! Pro yeah. <laughs> Attic and his mom in the hometown. Woo! Look how cute those buildings are. If it was a nice sunny day, you'd see that it would look a little bit prettier. <laughs> Hello! We are in the main square. Look how beautiful it's said, packed. I think that this is the largest main square in all of Europe. Wow. The largest piazza. It's huge and it's beautiful. It's gorge. Can There's I. Girl? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. We're having some Should potato pierogi. Yeah. All different they flavors. Look, uh, amazing. They look really delicious. So let's eat. This is bigos, which is what guys? Cabbage, stewed cabbage and pork. Stewed cabbage and pork. Looks really good. Yummy. It's already done. Look at all these desserts. <laughs> How do you say beautiful in Polish? Piękne. Piękne. <laughs> <laughs> So cute. So this is like the main old square here. Yeah. These are some ponczki, Polish donuts. Oh God, I'm so excited. They look so okay, good. Which one do you want? We're spotting our <laughs> breakfast and snack. <laughs> This is the sandwiches. It's almost like a pizza sandwich. Yeah. Zapikanki. What is Attic's name? 
Um, my his, is the Royal his is the mountain Royal cheese with the sausage. <laughs> Mountaineers. Oh, Mountaineers and Royal. Gurs Gurska. Gurska. And yours was Royal? Kuletska. How is it, Attic? Delicious. Oh my god, look at that. This is basically like a pizza and a sub combined. So good. Delish. I love this. Cheese and potatoes. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. So These look delicious. So Lucy told me this says seven million smiles and your smile is my favorite one. How cute is that? Hello guys! Today is day two in Krakow. It's actually technically our first full day because we arrived yesterday off the plane. It's basically mid-May and it's seven degrees today. So it's a cold one, <laughs> but we're trying to be as warm as possible here. The weather is sort of like Toronto weather where one day it can be seven degrees and then a couple days later it's going to be like 21 degrees. So if you're planning on coming to Krakow or anywhere in Poland, just check the weather. Right now Adek and his mom went to rent the car. They should be back soon. We rented a car because tomorrow we are going to Auschwitz and the next day we are leaving here and we are going to Adek and his mom's hometown basically just outside of Krakow. So we really needed to rent a car so Jules and I just got ready and we're just waiting for them to get back. By the way, this is Jules who's dating Adek. He's a little Polish. Polish. Yeah, he was born and raised here. He moved to Toronto when he was six years old so he's a true Polish boy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's with the uh, Italians, surrounded by Italians. Exactly. <laughs> So we're here at this Viga place and we got a vegan kebab to share. Not really, it's actually for Adik, but I'm having a bite. It's pretty rose drink. It looks so good. So cute here. It's sort of like a rose tea juice. Guys, that kebab is actually really good. The fries are just ice cold. <laughs> but the kebab is delicious. It's nice and warm and really good. You can't even tell that it's vegan. We got the medium sauce and it's actually super spicy, so maybe just get mild if you don't like spice. Goranche? Yeah. Gorancie Ponczki. I think so. For these delicious Polish donuts. They're filled. And they're coming out Ooh. hot all the time. They look really good. Yeah, them. yeah, they're always making them. It is about what three o'clock by now, so yeah. it's not really breakfast hours, but they look really good. It looks like it is three dollars and fifty Polish cents. So that's like Woo! We're eating our ponczkis! Oh, Adik's eating his. They look really delicious. I believe this is the rose flavor, so we will try it. These are so soft and they're still warm and they are delicious. I'm so excited. Yummy. Mm. Mm, let me see the inside. Mmm. It's like caramel. Wow. So good. This is the chocolate and cherry one and it's really delicious. They're still warm and they're so soft. Okay. Highly recommended. So this place is literally translates to hot punchki because they're always hot. They're constantly making them. They're so soft and fluffy. And look, I will show you the inside of it. This is vanilla pudding. This looks so good. Mmm, it's still warm. The pudding is like warm. Amazing. Okay. Bye for now. So we are underneath this little market. This is like a little tunnel right in the city square of the old town here. And it's so cute. They have lots of shops. I literally just bought this scarf because <laughs> I'm cold. Jules bought a scarf too. This is the perfect thing to do when it's a rainy day. You can see these cute little shops. It goes on and on for a while. Sukenitsa. Sukenitsa. That's it. <laughs> Sukenitsa. <laughs> and we just ate some delicious ponchki, which is the donuts. So good. And they have like a bunch of flavors and they keep coming out hot. So, guys, if you're in Krakow, you have to go try those donuts. Yes, what was it called? Goranche. <laughs> Goranche ponchki. <laughs> it's spelled like Gorache, but it's pronounced Goranche. Right? Goranche ponchki. Lucy, you gotta say it the right way. How do you say it? Goranche ponchki. Goranche ponchki. Hot donuts. Hot donuts. Literally yeah, translates yeah. to hot donuts, and they were actually were, and they kept bringing them out by the tray hot. So every time she'd put a new tray hot, we kept saying, "Oh, okay, five. let's get one more. Let's get one more." Right. We ate five donuts today. Oh, they're all gonna go on here. That's so funny. Look, she has bread in her hand. Some 
pretty art of when it's not raining. <laughs> They do a twirl. These birds. Wow. That looks incredible. I'm filming it. Wow. <laughs> dog in this cafe. Oh, he's so cute. We're at this cute little cafe and we needed a break from the rain and we wanted a nice little coffee. I got a hot chocolate and we also are getting some cheesecake to try. And this cafe is so cute because it's warm in here and they have a dog and he has like a little golden retriever running around. He's so cute. Maybe he'll come back and we'll show you guys. Yeah, he comes back. I already filmed him a little bit. Oh, okay. Back. Hopefully we can pet him and give him some sweets. He's adorable. <laughs> Light bulb. Oh, light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. Light bulb. <laughs> that means this was a good idea, right? Yeah. Me and Lucy are the two lovebirds, and they are the two lovebirds. We're in couples on this trip. <laughs> this is the cheesecake. Doesn't that look so delish? Yummy. This is the cute little cafe right in there. There's lots of cute patios to sit down and get a drink. You can eat, it's very nice. They have the heaters on them, but it's a little bit too cold for most people. <laughs> but it's so cute. There's a couple people down there. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? that adorable. They remind me of Edward Scissorhands. Kwapske <laughs> Yadawaks. That's why that's a Kwap house. Yes. What is this? You have to explain. Mallet. This is? That's lard. Mallet. Lard. The lard. Okay. And the other one? This is cream cheese. Cream cheese. Mm, with bread and pickles. Yum. That looks so good. These pierogies look so good. Yum. This is the Russian style with the cheese and potato. And this is the potato pancakes. How do you say this in Polish again? Platski ziemniaczane. Platski. Jemiecze. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And these are sort of like the this. Polish version of gnocchi because they are like their little dumplings. They're called kopitka. The schnitzel with the potatoes. Babe, you can have half of this. And eh? you got the schnitzel too. Well, yes. potato. Mashed potatoes. I don't know, spit it somewhere. You're a big boy. Salads, You're a growing boy. Mm, look at all these punchki. We're going to get a breakfast for tomorrow. These look so good. Wow. Our third day, kind of second full day in Krakow, but we are off to Auschwitz today. It's rainy, but it's actually very fitting. Mood, yeah, yeah, it fits the somber mood of the day, so. It's usually the way on yeah. right? Yeah. So it's about an hour and a half drive from Krakow, I would we say. We rented a car. We rented a car, so we're on the way. We are in the Galeria Krakowska. It is such a big mall. There's three floors and it's huge, very long. There's lots of things to see and do in here. So it's perfect for a rainy day. We got vegan kebabs. They look really delicious. That's yours, Max. I'm gonna take a picture of it too. This is what's left of my breakfast. It is so delicious. We got these ponchki from this place called Gorolaski Pralini. Mm, there's nothing better than ponchki. They're so good. Today is our last day in Krakow. We are leaving today. We are sad to be leaving. It's bittersweet, but we're happy to go see Babcha and where Arik came from, his little hometown. So it'll be nice. But first, we're going to explore a little bit more of Krakow. We're going to see the castle of Wawel and yeah, eat a couple things and then we're on the way. We are walking to the park. I'm a little bit sick, but we're making do. This weather is colder than Poor we expected. Julie's sick. As you can tell by my voice, walking away from us. <laughs> the cute little uh. part, I'll look up an area for the kitties. They're traditionals because they have, you know what, when you look at them, yeah. they have this line. Oh, okay. So that's, that's how you know it's authentic. authentic. It's 
very pretty. Very cool. Cool. Hi, so we're at Valvo, but this is the church area of Valvo where you can get in for free behind me. But the actual castle part we're still going to walk to, and it is not free to get in. <laughs> Outside. Yep. All of the tourists here, this is clearly a very important tourist destination. This is a cool spot. We took a couple of pictures here. Very, very pretty. There's so many tourists around, so it's hard to get like the really good shot, you know? Lucy, we all took pictures there. She wanted to take a picture of there. <laughs> the flowers. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> She's so cute. The queen, the queen of the castle. <laughs> So this would be the courtyard, I'm assuming, of the castle. Looks very pretty, lots of people here. They're doing a lot of construction though, so it all looks like that. Under construction! Woo! So this is the only corner, I guess, that looks decent. There you go. Very pretty. We're having a cheese crepe, a sweet cheese crepe. We heard they're really good, so I want to try it before we go. A sweet cheese crepe, Nalashniki. Can I say that right? I don't know. Babe, how do you say it? Nalashniki. Nalashniki. This right. is the cheese crepe. It looks so delicious. We're awesome. eating it on the street, even though I said we should have ate it outside. I'm dealing yeah, with brains. So good. <laughs> it looks good, so we'll, we're gonna dig in. So this is the crepe, and Jules is it's saying it's so heavenly. Good. There's even some like raisins. It's like kind of a mm. got the cheese inside. Okay, this is the store. Nalashniki. So we are once again in the old town of Casimir's. There's Lucy taking pictures. There's Jules and Attic running ahead of us because they're hungry. She says there's some cute cat in the window. Even though I'm a dog person, let's go see. <laughs> oh, he is cute. Hi, kitty. So I believe that is the street name. This is the area that they have the really good sandwiches, apparently. There's all these food trucks. This is the sandwich shop. This is what it's called. Here are the names in Polish. This is the English name. Okay. Which one? Are we gonna share one, Joel? Yeah. We're just waiting for our sandwiches to be ready. I got this apple and pear juice and it's actually super, super good. Highly recommend it. I won't even try to pronounce the name. So from that little fry spot down there, Jules bought some fries. Hopefully they redeem themselves because lately we've been eating cold fries. Oh yeah, these are nice and hot. Those are fries. Mm. Yeah, these are, well, that's what you want. These are good. So this is from the Andrews food truck. We got number three. It is this nice and juicy sandwich. With, with mushrooms and mushrooms, cheese. Mushrooms, cheese, meat, everything. It looks so juicy. I'm going to take a bite on camera. Pickles. Enough. Ready? Oh. You're covering your face. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Mm. Can you see inside, guys? This is delicious. It tastes like the most ultimate comfort food sandwich. It is so good. Let's have Jules dig in because me and Jules are sharing because it's really big. The sun has finally come out. This is the main square of the Jewish quarter right here. Looks very cute. We just had a delicious lunch. I am full, so we are walking it off on the way back. All these tables are singer sewing machines. Jules is taking a picture. <laughs> All throughout here. How cute is that? That is adorable. So many. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't think it's so crazy. many. Oh, Raffaello. There's one left in this place. Wow. <laughs> Oh, 
How pretty with the flowers falling on the bench. It's so pretty here. We are officially done in Krakow. It was such a nice trip. Unfortunately, our last day is one of the only days that it's not raining. I feel like our first and our last, every full day that we had has been raining, but we still were troopers and we walked around even in the rain. We're on our way to Attic's hometown, which will probably be a separate little vlog in and of itself. So I'm excited, but I'm very sad to leave Krakow because it was a beautiful city. I know that I will definitely be back one day because it was really cute. Well, you guys liked my vlog and you like to see my sister and her boyfriend and his mom. So there you go. Oh. <laughs> Ciao for now.